Welcome to Hufu Adventures. This past weekend, we attended the Vegan World 2026 conference in Mesa, Arizona. Carol, who was this conference for? It was for all of us who want a system of normalized nonviolence here on planet Earth by year 2026 in order to prevent year zero. Carol, explain to us, what is year zero? Well, year zero is the year that there will be no wildlife animals left except in zoos. How sad. That's really sad. Now, let's take a glimpse into those two days of the conference. So I will go through the uh, technical details a little bit and I'll try to explain it in a way that, you, that, you, that anyone can understand. If you don't understand it, please stop me so that I can go over it, you know. Because my goal here is to make sure that we all get the key findings and the technical background that led me to those key findings. So, um, so key findings. Number one finding is that uh, animal agriculture is responsible for 87% of human-made greenhouse gas emissions annually. Second is that the methane emissions from cow burps alone, methane emissions from animal agriculture alone, causes more incremental global warming than the annual CO2 emissions from all fossil fuel sources combined. This is not something you hear from people. You know, they just make a joke out of cow burps, but in reality, they cause more global warming on an annual basis than all the CO2 from fossil fuel sources combined. Thirdly, we are, we are, we are showing that uh, we need to transition to a vegan world first. So as quickly as possible, and then address our fossil fuel addiction. Or even fossil fuel addiction, if you want to address that, you have to address natural gas first, and not coal and oil. And I'll show you why coal and oil are, um, should be the last ones to address. And the transition to a, a vegan economy can sequester over 2,000 gigatons of CO2 in recovering forests, which means we can literally reverse climate change and we can bring the atmospheric CO2 down to 350 parts per million and lower to the safe zone. So there is a solution for climate change. And it is sitting on our plates. Okay? It's, that's the beginning. But ultimately, it's also a vegan lifestyle. It's a vegan ethic. It's about not using animals for any purpose whatsoever. That's when you get the, the savings in terms of land use. My group was discussing uh, medical education and how do we get the message about veganism and more importantly, plant-based nutrition and how can we use to reverse most of the Western diseases we're seeing now. How do we get that out to medical schools and medical students and doctors? And so we came at this from, from the perspective that uh, some people have talked about today that we're not going to have a lot of success changing the existing system from within. Um, that you know, medicine right now is very entrenched with the pharmaceutical industry, and if it's not a drug intervention, most of the time they, they don't want to hear about it. So we realized that we, we have to get people young. And so we want to go after the medical schools and start uh, doing talks there, but we also want to go to the undergrad institutions, talk to the pre-med students, talk to people who are interested in health and um, change their perspective now before they're too entrenched in, um, in a, a, a drug-based ideology. And then we want to have both medical doctors speaking and we want to have people who have actual stories of healing and reversing these diseases that Western medicine considers incurable, like heart disease, type 2 diabetes, multiple sclerosis, stuff like that. So we have like real concrete, hey, I'm real, and I reversed an autoimmune disease. Kind of. No, I don't want to go to the bar with you. I still won't want to go in a year or two. I don't want to go to the bar with you. And I ain't gonna show no
If you want more information on the Vegan World 2026 conference, you can go to veganworld2026.org. If you want more on year zero, you can go to climatehealers.org. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more Hufu content.